Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Open Some Packs. Uh, today we're doing this. We're getting a lot of weird action here. Yeah, I'm late to the party on this one. This was an older one. Ooh, that was loud. Is that coming in? Uh, you're welcome. Ooh. I know this back design. I want to say I, I didn't get this deck. Yeah, this isn't USPCC. That was the deal. Uh, and I don't think this is either. It doesn't say... Oh, hi. Hi, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, uh, like, subscribe. Uh, if you're not new, welcome back. Uh, if you like playing cards, there's a link down in the description uh, for a Discord channel where we talk about playing cards. And yeah, it's kind of fun, kind of cool. Come check it out. Uh, yeah, and I've been this, there was like another crayon deck that he did like a long time ago. Um, like it was one of the original. I totally missed out on that one. And then there's, I think this is a reprint. Um, and I think this is not made, yeah. Printed by the Kingswell Playing Card Company in the PRC. So this is the PRC version, I guess. Um, and I think there's a USPCC. I could be wrong. And I pulled this knife out. This is a new one. I have never used it. I don't think I've used it, right? And if I have, it looks like it's been used. What? Are these handmade? Anyways, I pulled it out because it's a glow-in-the-dark knife. I don't think I've used it. I was saving it for another video. Yeah, so this is the... Uh, Ooh, what is the name of this one? I forgot. It's the... Uh, there's uh, seven colors. It's the... Oh, there's a name for it. It's a table players, I believe. Yeah, I order a bunch of the de their decks, and I lose I lose my... Uh, the naming sometimes. And I saw the tuck on this. The tuck on this is what sold me. And there's one card in here. When I open this, it's going to be... It's going to be like a crayon. Watch. Um, and I think the first one, if you have it, check. It's USBCC, I'm pretty certain. Um, and I don't... Ooh, that's cool. I don't know if... There's the, the crayon thing. And I got the back design on these. This amazing. Let's start with the back design. I don't usually do that, but I got it because of the back design. I thought the back design was always this. And... This is a really nice back design. I like that. Like if I ever do an ornate design, this uh, another reason why I got it because I think my next deck after this Diggo Kingdoms one is going to be an ornate deck. I think just to show that I could do it because I like I like really simple, you know. And this is like simple ornate. Pulled it off, um, and I think you're going to get yeah, you're going to just get three jokers here. Claire, Scarlet, Olive. I'm assuming those are his children. <laughs> he probably even had them colored. I think that's the story. I bet you that's the story. I think the youngest one is Olive. <laughs> that's cute. All right. Start with the ace. And I got no steam. Come on. Fade in. I like it. It's like simple yet elaborate. It's bold. And this is this is my style. Custom pips, custom indices, and custom quartz colored. Pretty cool. Uh, check out the um, the quartz when we get to them. They're like colored in. And like, and that looks like crayon, right? Yeah, it's crayon. I wonder if Claire Olive did these. Or the kits. Man, I love these quartz though. Really good design. Look at that. You could totally play card games with these. I would. Ooh, the black border on there is nice. You see that? I wonder why you didn't do it off. Maybe because it, like, stay inside the lines when you're coloring. That makes sense. Ooh, yes. That looks good. Man, this one looks really good. Uh, nothing against PRC, but I like USPCC better sometimes, yo. Ooh. Quartz, or the quartz, the clubs, and then the jack of clubs. Cool. I don't know. What do y'all think? PRC or USPCC? I'm going to go with USPCC. I think it's a lot more affordable to print with PRC. But, you know, you're getting... That's a cool card, too. I like the yellow ones. Those are my favorite. And the clubs are kind of pretty good. Oh, they feel pretty good. Thick, yo. I like premium stock. 
Pharaoh. Yeah, see, that's something I've noticed. Like, Pharaoh is a little bit, mm, a little sketch. I like the paper cards. They smell pretty good, too, considering the use of the cards is from KRC. I don't know how I feel about it, I'll be honest. I mean, he's he's done USPCC forever. No idea why he didn't, or why he's not anymore. Maybe he's printed in so many decks. Maybe the, maybe the first print run is USPCC. Does anybody know? I don't know. Um, these do feel pretty good, though. I don't know how they break in. I've never broken one of these in fully. Um, usually it's usually it's the US... Oh, my goodness. I can't talk in cardistry at the same time. And I got no steam. Uh, this is going to be a short video, as you can tell. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. I mean, what do you all think? Let me know. I uh, See, I can already see the finish acting weird. I just opened these. Like, if I don't do, like, a full... See? It's, I mean, I'm just being a stickler. Because I'm American. <laughs> but no, seriously, I don't know how I feel about it. I like USPCC cards. These feel really good, though. I'm kind of impressed. I wonder if they're legends, uh, or if they're one of the other many uh, card pl uh, printing companies out there. Um, anyways, yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching. I really recommend this deck regardless. The back design is great. The art is great. These cords. I thought I'd be cool. And like, these cords. <laughs> and they drill pretty good. See, this is why, and now we're going long. Now we're going long. It's like, it's going to be a short video. We're going to go to 40 minutes on this one. We're going to go to 40 minutes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm like checking out. <laughs> like, unsubscribe. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm still talking because I don't want to diss. But this is a really nice deck. And I don't know. I've seen a lot of card companies going to the PRC lately. Not, not sure why. I'm, I'm guessing it's because of the cost, like profits, maybe are better, um, and they're good quality, like they're centered. Look at that, you know. Oh, what a weird deck to have this conversation with. <laughs> like I thought I was just gonna open it up. It's something going on in the community now, but this is a really cool deck. I wish I had the U the United States Playing Card Company version. If they did do it, in the, I'm guessing because he did USBCC forever. I'm guessing. Uh, or I don't know. I don't have too many of the earlier Kings Wild stuff. I got in more towards the middle. Um, yeah. So I added an extra little two minutes there of chatty, chatty, McChattenton. Uh, great deck, though, regardless. I recommend it. If you're a collector, you got to have this, I think. In my opinion, if you're a collector. Because um, look at that court. Man. Good stuff. All right. That's the video. God bless all of you. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!